for decades watched all these artists make so much money and then just one year becomes less than a thousand dollars a hop in the game. I think that streaming has made the music business lazy. Mm -hmm. I think streaming has made artists lazy mm -hmm. because it takes nothing to upload a song. Mm -hmm. So everybody talks about a hundred thousand songs being uploaded on Spotify, but can we just talk about how 97,000 of them are terrible? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That like, part. No, I'm just being honest because 97,000 of them didn't have any thought put into it, yeah. didn't have a producer in the room, mm -hmm. didn't have, weren't thinking about how the audience is going to react to it. Because you can put out so much music so easily. Mm -hmm. People forget to market it. People forget to create concept around it or at least make a connection with the fan base to make sure they understand what those concepts are. Mm -hmm. Because as much as we like to think that people are just going to like dig deep, listen to all the lyrics, try to get a concept or you can feel like you're being straightforward. People can't see what's in your mind. Mm -hmm. They just can't. Like there's some songs they're going to capture all that. And you got the people like Kendrick Lamar where their fan base is going to like really analyze word for word. Most people don't have a Kendrick type of fan base. You yeah. know, people who yeah. got strong fan bases don't have fans that are listening that hard. Yeah. All right. And then secondly, still, you have a vision in your mind or a feeling, right, in your body when you're communicating your music. Mm -hmm. And that doesn't always translate. So if you don't bring the world that that music should be introduced to, divide and take those steps, it could be missed. Yeah. Thing I did also want to touch on with the Ray Daniels conversation of artists getting lazier. I, I think is I understand why it's easier. To, it's easier. You know what I'm saying? It's like to the 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 OG's points, not him, but just the, them in general, right? It's like back in the day, you want to make a song, you gotta get your ass up and go to the studio, right? Mm -hmm. You're in the studio for however many hours. Um, you gotta go down to the the local press shop and get your CDs pressed up. If we fast forward to 2000, you still gotta put some orders in. You know what I'm saying? To get the shit out. You gotta find a distribution partner. You gotta do all these things that were like just for the song to even hit mm -hmm. the shelf. You probably had already went through about 10, 15 steps worth of work already. Mm -hmm. Today, it's maybe three, four steps between making the song and having it online, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? So to the point you made earlier, there are a lot more people who feel like, oh, I could just hop in this. It's $20 a year for a distro kid account, or however much it is, 20 a month, 20 a year. I don't know, don't, don't kill me for that. $20 for a distro kid account. I've seen lots of videos online about, here's how to make a studio set up for less than $500, you know what I'm saying? So if yeah. we assume, I'm assuming a large majority of that 38 million of people that probably did that, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. They just needed to quick hop in. And so if you can become an artist today for essentially less than a thousand dollars is going to flood the marketplace, right? Anytime people, especially for a business model where for such a long time, we saw so many people make a lot of money from it, or we felt like we saw a lot of people do it, right? So it's like, Think about any time a new business opportunity is introduced and then the the price to get into that business cheapens. There's always a lot of people that flood it and the quality diminishes. We're just seeing that with music now, right? We for 20, 30, or shit longer than that, for decades watched all these artists make so much money and then just one year it becomes less than a thousand dollars to hop in the game. Yeah. Everybody wants to hop in the game. You know what I'm saying? Shit, I should I'd be thinking all the time, man, should I become a rep? Maybe I missed the maybe I missed the block. You know what I'm saying? Missed the calling, missed bro. it, missed it, bro. But so I think I do think that artists are lazier in the sense, but I, I understand like how they got into that place. All right, so one we we are going to get to how you build out of this. Oh yeah, but let's I'll harp on that point for it's your first thousand streams. <laughs> <laughs> you one hundred percent have to expect people to be lazier, just because we know that just proportionally there's always some people who are lazy and some people who aren't. Yeah, hundred percent. Right? But then the environment dictates the amount of laziness that can cut or not. All right. I see where you're going with this. So everybody still has that incentive. Yeah. But if I have to pay X amount of dollars in this studio, ooh, I don't want to waste all that much time. So I got to use this wisely. Mm -hmm. and I'm going to prepare on the front end as much as possible. I might try that one time and be like, well, I just waste a lot of time and even create one song. Man, man. So yeah. let me. <laughs> Figure out my lyrics, hear, hear the beats, whatever, like do all that stuff. And then, oh, when I have to, to try to get my music in the stores, I have to print them on physical CDs. And once that's done, it's done. 
Like brother say no refunds when he like type my shit out, type out my yeah. my CD name and all this stuff and the covers is already done. It's a sunk cost. So you literally don't have the ability to make as many. Well, you have the ability, but the costs are so high. It forces people to be on their P's and Q's mm-hmm. a lot more. Yeah. Now, like you said, cost so cheap. I go in my room. I do it. I don't even have to deal with nobody. So nobody's making me move fast enough. I could go eat. I can play a game. I could take a, a nap or whatever. And then nobody's forcing me to create music fast enough. There's no mm-hmm. pressures. And then when I put it out, like, all right, if I get zero streams, there's no feedback. I might just throw another one out there. Yeah. Right. <laughs> so yeah. The, the risk uh, is is so low. It is an environment today that allows things to be lazier. Right. Mm-hmm. Quick second. Have you ever seen an artist catch some traction and then they start to move? The numbers start to grow. They might even go viral. But then fast forward a year from now. Somehow their numbers haven't really grown that much. They dropped back close to the same monthly listeners they had before the traction and viral moment. Well, that's because you have to know how to convert those moments into careers. And we've done this again and again with not only songs, but artists. And so has J.R. McKee, who's been a part of helping artists like Lil Durk, Rod Wave, Justine Sky, and Money Long. And we just did a collab where J.R. McKee does a step-by-step breakdown of how he took Money Long from zero to millions of monthly listeners and winning a Grammy over Beyonce, Mary J. Blige, and Jasmine Sullivan. Check out this breakdown while we still have it up. You can check it out at www.brandmannetwork.com slash Grammy. Don't forget the www or it won't work. Again, that's www.brandmannetwork.com slash Grammy. Back to the video. I I like to implore artists to look at the world at large. (laughs) This is this is just where we are, man. You know, if if you want to date a young lady today. Mm-hmm. You know, wherever you live, there were probably less women that you were attracted to per square mile. Okay. Right. Okay. Than what you see today. Yeah. All right. Everybody has your type. So whatever you're attracted to. And when you come across that, now you're like, oh, man, I want her or I want a shot at her. So you, one, you got to probably look whatever your best is for your personal brand smell whatever your best is and then when y'all go out i gotta show up with my best face on and go on a specific type of date today <laughs> hey swipe 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 I'm like oh bro she want to go to a restaurant i just want to go to the park you know what i'm saying like let me and the park can, can be a great creative place. So let me not shit park. on the park. Yeah, Gmon park. park got great food. Yeah, you know I mean, let me run that back. But, <laughs> <laughs> but like, let me let me do something that's lower effort. I don't even want to invest that much in the front end because I got so many other shots that I can take. Mm-hmm. Right? Yeah. I'm not so worried about this. I got access of to people that I'm attracted to within a certain square radius without me even having to leave the house. I can see them and just find them that way. Yeah. Right, where I can yeah. look look on Instagram. There's all these different ways, so people are even investing less, even on that side of things. And I hear it all the time. Thank God that I'm not dealing with it. You know what I'm saying? But <laughs> man, it's hard out in these streets. I, man. I, I hear it's hard in these streets. I hear. You know what I mean? <laughs> so, like, is the same? So imagine taking that same type of mentality and you're uh, an artist feeling like there's a lack of value shown. Then you apply that to a dating scenario, yeah. or you apply that to movies actors and actresses feel the same like mm-hmm. all these different categories are feeling the same and it's just coming down to the fact that there's less attention more content mm-hmm. right more information and easier access so why am i going to go hard and invest much when i could just wait for the thing to pop up as much as we believe in this strategy and use this strategy it's the same mentality yo let the song bubble up and then we invest heavy, mm-hmm. right? Don't put a lot of money in the music, let the audience decide and then you run it up. It's the same thing. Mm-hmm. I'm not trying to invest. Let them tell me, let them pick me first and show me they're committed. Yeah. And then I'm gonna put it in. Yeah. All of it's the same. And the problem is, like I said, we can want one thing, but like we said earlier, what's the behavior? Well, the behavior works, right? Today. To treat it that way, mm-hmm. which is why people keep treating it that way, mm-hmm. right? So can't knock it. Now it's just about how you build up out of it. And two of the keys to build up out of it comes down to brand and community, right? In the space where you need to separate yourself, mm-hmm. right? 
how do you? Because there is plenty of content. Bump all these artists that are trash, that don't market their stuff. There's a lot of artists that are great mm -hmm. and are marketing themselves, yep. are building fan bases or getting a lot of attention, right? But there's still competition and there's still difficulty in like not only um, standing out from the pack, but actually monetizing. Yeah. That's the real thing we want to get down to. Yeah. So 